up y'all it's your girl lauren here back with another video and another exciting installment in my halloween series hey y'all um i'm hiding my face because i don't want you to see the finished look quite yet and i'm editing uh but i just want to say that i can kind of see like some white paint still a little bit in my hair and in my nose maybe you didn't notice it but um i just want to say that i have done everything i've washed my face multiple times i've shampooed my hair i've showered i've done everything and that like la girl foundation mixer will not come off of my body so if there's anything that you learned from this video and just from the halloween series um please don't use it as foundation i i mean as primarily as face paint um because it just it's not coming off and if you have any tips on how to get on Get off hard to remove um, face paints or foundations, uh, please leave them below. Goodbye! We are now only a few days until Halloween and I've got some special stuff planned for the actual day of Halloween. I think you guys are going to like what I end up dressing up as. I'm going to keep it a secret, but I'm so excited. I feel like this series is going really well so far. I really loved the last look I did. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, I will be linking the playlist down below. And I'll also put it like up here somewhere so that you can just go watch them all and, you know, kind of see what I've been up to. And yeah, I am just so excited to get in this video. And for today's look, I'm going to be doing a jack-o'-lantern look. I think I'm going to do like a half jack-o'-lantern face, half like regular face and kind of see how that goes. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be doing it based off of this picture that I saw on Pinterest um and it's by Cito Viste on Instagram I'm gonna put it right here because I don't know if I'm saying that right um that's kind of what the look is going for I don't know if I'm gonna go for that exactly but before we get into the look I just want to remind you that if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can see every video in this series because again I have some really fun looks planned um, for the rest of the days and I'm just so excited about it and I feel like just in general like I feel like I like the direction my channel is going in so I want as many of you to be on the ride with me as possible and so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into the look. Voice over Lauren is back and better than ever so I'm brushing out my eyebrows and I'm using an Elmer's glue stick to start getting them flat so I can start covering them and I'm just pushing that glue through and then adding more and then cleaning up the access and then adding more it's literally just a process of adding and re-adding and obviously dancing I guess and then I'm powdering my brows and then I'm going to go over it with an elf camo concealer and yeah I'm just covering them if you want a more in-depth tutorial on covering brows I'm not the channel to look for there's so many others then I'm going in with my AOA studio perfect filter primer and putting that all over then I'm putting my concealer as an eye base and powdering it down. Then we're going with the good old cake palette and we're taking pineapple, the yellow shade, and putting it all through the crease. Then we're taking the color Dulce de Leche and putting that through the crease as well. And then I'm going ahead and taking this blood orange called Peaches and putting that on the outer edges. Then Carrot, this shimmery color is going right on the lid. Then I'm taking the NYX eyeliner and I'm just making a little wing. I finished the rest of the glam part off camera because y'all have seen that. Then I'm taking the NYX Special Effects Cream Color Palette and I'm mixing the yellow and the red to make an orange. And I was not vibing with the color as you could see. Came out really salmon-y but I had no choice. I was like, we're, no, we're going in. Alright, we're already in too deep. And so I just applied that all over the face and I tapped that in with a beauty sponge. And now I'm taking an orange eyeshadow mixed with a translucent powder. And I'm tapping that all over the face. And this definitely made it look way more orange. But it did ruin my new sweatshirt. So yeah. Then I'm taking this blood orange red eyeshadow from the Modern Dreamer palette. And I'm making these lines on my face. And this is the base for all of the shading that's going to be done. And so now I'm taking a black shadow from the Frida Kahlo palette. And I'm kind of just stamping it but then tapering it out. Uh, as you can see, to kind of like blend it all together. Once that's done, I'm going in with the black from the special effects palette, and I'm starting to kind of map out the nose 
and doing that and filling that in and then I'm taking my NYX eyeliner and I'm starting to do the mouth part. You definitely want to take your time at this part. You're kind of just making curved lines and connecting the lines that are already down your face. Think about it as like drawing a bat wing kind of. And then I'm taking that black again and I'm just kind of sharpening the lines, making them look a little more uh, drawn out and kind of creepy. And then I'm making the triangle over my eye and kind of bringing that down on the lower lash line. And then I'm taking that black from the special effects palette and filling everything in. As I fill things in, I'm starting to sharpen the lines as well and adding mascara. Then I'm going back into that black from the Frida Kahlo palette and setting down everything. This is very important. You don't want things to smudge. So now I'm taking a yellow liner by NYX and I'm outlining the mouth and all of the carved parts of the pumpkin to give it that real glowing jack-o'-lantern look. And then I'm taking the Mehron Fantasy FX glow in the dark paint and going over those yellow lines to really, really make it glow. And then after you're done with that, the look is finished and it looks bomb and boom, it glows in the dark. That looks so cool. You're going to be so cool if you do this look, okay? Okay, so that is the finished look. I honestly really love it. I don't know. I feel like every single look i feel like i'm improving uh, as far as my makeup skills go and yeah i just love the way this came out and i'm really really excited about it and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope that i will see you back again tomorrow for the next video in this halloween series and yeah i love you love you love you so much Mwah. goodbye and i hope you have a great rest of your night or day wherever you are I'm gonna go eat like 10,000 things and sleep because I've been filming this for a very long time. So yeah, bye y'all.